there. Welcome to today's lesson on atomic Lewis structures. Uh, the question of the day, how many protons, neutrons, and electrons would need to be drawn in a Bohr diagram for uranium? If you don't know, I'll tell you, uranium's atomic number is 92. <laughs> Yes, it's quite a few. You would need 92 protons, 92 electrons, and let's see, um, over 100 neutrons. I'm not very good at mental math. 146 neutrons you would need, actually. So um, there's this guy, right? His name, I don't know his first name, but his last name is Lewis. And he's thinking, we need a better way to draw pictures of atoms because this idea of drawing 146 neutrons plus 92 protons plus seven energy levels filled with 92 electrons sounds like too much. And it also sounds like a really easy way to make a mistake. You just miscount. So he comes up with Lewis structures. And he bases those Lewis structures on valence electrons only. Valence electrons are the ones that participate in bonding. So they're going to be super important in chemistry. On the periodic table, groups 1 and 2, and then 13 to 18, mostly follow some rules. Um, they have a predictable number of valence electrons. And if you look at the periodic table, I'm talking about um, groups 1 and 2 over here, and then 13 to 18 over here. The two, like, towers of the castle, I like to call them. Um, they have a specific number of valence electrons, and it's really easy to predict them. So looking at the groups... Um, a group is just a vertical column on the periodic table. They kind of go in order. They're numbered. There's 18 of them. This is 3 through 10. I'm not talking about those right now. I'm talking about the tall towers. So we have 1 and 2, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then 18 headed by helium. These guys play very nicely by the rules. The rule is the number of valence electrons that they have in their atoms. Everything in group one has one valence electron. Everything in group two has two valence electrons. Everything in boron's group has three, four, five, six, seven, until we get to group 18. Now, group 18 is a little strange because it says two and eight. Helium is too small to have eight valence electrons, so it only has two. And then everything below it will have the eight valence electrons. And though there will be more information on why that happens in a little uh, in the, a future video. A way to help you remember this is that this is group 13. If you drop the one, you'd have three. 14, drop the one, you'd have four. 15, drop the one, you'd have five. And that is how the back half of this trick works. There are some periodic tables that number this as section A of the periodic table, and this is section B. So this would be 1A. 2a, 3a, 4a, 5a, and that's its group number. Um, I don't know very many people who actually use that. I know most people, at least the people that I know, have done the 1 through 18, um, so we just drop the 1. So the hack for the Lewis structure is that it turns a really scary looking Bohr model with lots of tiny little subatomic particles into something way more manageable. It is going to show only the valence electrons for an atom as dots drawn around its atomic symbol. And once you get the hang of this, it's super, super easy. So here's how to draw a Lewis structure. And this is for atoms. You can also draw Lewis structures for molecules, and that's gonna be a way more complex process. This right here, we're just talking about drawing for individual atoms which is where you'd have to start anyway. So the thing that you're going to do is find the element symbol on the periodic table, figure out the number of valence electrons it has based on its group number. Then you are going to draw an imaginary box around that symbol, four-sided box, and then you're going to start at the top and then move either side, it doesn't matter. You're going to draw dots on each side of this imaginary box until you have drawn enough dots for each valence electron. So I'm going to walk you through an example of how to draw bromine. Bromine has the symbol Br, which I have obtained from the periodic table. 
If I was doing a very ugly Bohr model, this would have 35 electrons, and that's a lot. But I can just check out its group number on the periodic table to find the number of valence electrons and draw the Lewis structure instead. So because bromine, Br, is a member of group 17, it will have seven valence electrons, just those on the outside. So we're going to draw the imaginary box around bromine, just like this. You don't even really have to draw it. I call this the training wheels. Some kids need to have the training wheels in order to learn how to draw Lewis structure. Others don't. Do what works best for you. But we're going to put an imaginary box around bromine. And then we're going to start at the top and move to a side, draw dots until we've drawn enough for bromine. The reason we do this is because these electrons in real life want to repel each other. So we're going to kind of try to honor that and draw them far away from each other. So we start at the top, one, two, three, and four. But now I have to draw three more. And the question is, where do those go? Later on, I'll teach you some quantum chemistry, which is kind of scary sounding, but it's really just the chemistry of electrons. And electrons will actually get close to each other. They don't like it, but they'll do it. Um, so the fifth, sixth, and seventh electron will be added to one of the four sides of the box. And then there's bromine seven valence electrons. At this point, you would remove the imaginary box and you would have a completed bromine Lewis structure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in just a second, I am going to give you some um, answers to some Lewis structures, but I want you to take down the atoms that I'm telling you to draw. The first is the Lewis structure for magnesium, whose symbol is Mg. The second is for silicon, whose symbol is Si. Number three is boron, whose symbol is B. And last up is krypton, whose symbol is Kr. Again, that was magnesium, Mg, silicon, Si, boron, boron, whose symbol is B, and krypton, Kr. Magnesium is a member of group two with two valence electrons, so you would have one on top and one to the side. Silicon is a member of group 14 with four valence electrons, one on each side, no doubling. Boron is a member of group 13, so it'll have three valence electrons with just one empty side. And finally, Krypton is a member of group 18 with eight valence electrons, two on each side of that imaginary box. That's what I have for you on drawing atomic Lewis structures. Stay tuned for the molecule Lewis structures. Those are tougher. Those will be coming in the bonding unit and then again in the organic chemistry unit. I hope to see you there. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Leave questions you have in the comments below the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.